In the state of New York, a day of grief in the small city of Binghamton, a grief that crosses many cultures. At this mosque, they are saying goodbye to two Muslim victims of the mass shooting at the American Civic Association. The family of Lila Khalil moved to Binghamton from war-torn Iraq to seek a better life in America. Her son, a high school senior, says his closest bond was with his mother. Where we expect like new life for her, she, she just want to, to learn English more. She, she was innocent, she did nothing. At a nearby church, a bell is rung 14 times for each of the dead. We need to make sure that this tragedy does not eclipse the goodness of this community because it's a great community, a very nonviolent community, a community that uh, celebrates its diversity and its immigrants. This immigration center is transitioning from a crime scene into a memorial as people look for ways to heal. Two of those shot inside on Friday were Buddhists, husband and wife. The husband survived. The wife, Lan Ho, did not. Because we want to lie to him about his wife, because he just got cover from the surgery. He got really hurt. But um, he told us immediately, don't lie to me. I knew my wife was dead. She was dead in my arms. So. This police officer is adding a flower to the growing memorial. It's in remembrance of this woman, slain English teacher Roberta King. Wonderful woman. She was a teacher. The victims of this shooting came together to learn English from many countries. Pakistan, China, Haiti, Brazil, Iraq, Vietnam, Philippines, and the United States. Ted Chaffrey, The Associated Press, Binghamton, New York.